new bill to make changes to the Law Enforcement Officers Bill of Rights was introduced at the State House today. The proposal would reform the law that protects officers accused of misconduct. Target 12 investigator Steph Machado was here yesterday with a story of why a Providence police sergeant remains on the force two years after being convicted of assault. Steph joins us now with the latest on the reform efforts. Right now in Rhode Island, any punishment longer than a two-day suspension allows an officer to request a Leobor hearing with a panel of three law enforcement officers who will decide their fate. It can take years for those hearings to happen if criminal charges are pending. So when I was here, what do police officers Joseph Hanley, John Lugo, Steve Jencarella, and Dan Dolan have in common? All their bosses want to fire them, but none have lost their jobs yet. Police unions argue the Law Enforcement Officers Bill of Rights, or Leopor, provides important protections for officers accused of wrongdoing. Others say it makes it too difficult to hold officers accountable. Is this the year that uh, Leopor is going to be reformed? I hope so. Reform efforts have stalled in the past two legislative sessions, but House Speaker Joe Shikarchi says they are working on making it happen this year. There are now two House bills proposing changes. One by Representative Ray Hull, a police sergeant himself, would increase the number of days a chief can suspend an officer without pay from 2 to 14. It would remove the gag rule on chiefs, allowing them to talk about their own officers' alleged misconduct. And it would add civilians to the hearing panel, increasing it to five members. An alternative proposal introduced today by Representative Jose Batista would let chiefs impose any punishment, including termination. Then the officer could appeal the decision to the Leobor panel, which could overturn the discipline. He would also change the makeup of the panel to include civilians. But I think this is the year that we should have some reform and significant reform, and I think the process should remain in place to some degree. It certainly should be changed, modified, and reflect the times that we're living in today. Over on the Senate side, Senator Tierra Mack has filed a bill to repeal Leobor, but both the House Speaker and Senate President say they support reform, not a full repeal. I'm Steph Machado, 12 News.